vehicle we're driving is a prototype for the 2022 model year LS500H all-wheel drive specifically. Got it. The technology you're demoing is the current in-market Japanese specification 21 model year. Oh, they have it there already? Yeah. So that technology uses front-facing LiDAR. Uh-huh. What you're seeing on this prototype vehicle okay. are those side yep. LiDARs and even rear LiDAR. However, those are not activated for this demo. Okay, so this is a great lane to be in. Vehicle position is initializing. Speed limit 70, I think, 70 to 73, whatever you're comfortable with is, is a great place to be. Advanced drive ready? Give it a shot. Advanced drive activated. So the color scheme gray and you have the icon of the hands on the wheel, but it's doing its thing. So you can have your feet off the pedals. You want to keep some touch on the wheel, otherwise it'll start yelling at you. At this point, because it wants to know you're there. Blue, now we're blue hands so free. We can... So do you, do, have you gotten used to like kind of here on the ready? Uh, kind of what you just did when I first experienced it, I was hovering in, yeah, in mid-air, yeah, yeah, yeah. which, which is not a comforting or relaxed no, position that's, to be. No, that's not really, but that's not really an advantage. Hands, hands on my, hands on my knees, hands on my legs is where I, I tend to settle. Because I suppose you get too comfy and it's harder to, and it takes yeah. more effort to get back, but yeah. yeah, this is still nice. Oh, it's wild. So, I love the heads-up display. I, you know, I, I, from from my seat before when you were driving, I was looking at the dash and I couldn't yes. see the heads up display. Yes. But I love that that same radar system with the lanes and the the lane warnings, the colors, everything on the HUD. That's fantastic. That almost like that makes such a big difference because that whole where do you look thing now it's both in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're kind of looking forward, even if you're looking off to the side, looking at you know at, you know things on the side of the road, I can still see in the corner of my eye. Oh, that's not blue anymore. I got to get back to the business. Very and cool. You may notice again there's a slight audible beep. Sure. It's not too intrusive, but it's definitely there it is. And so my hands on it, it sees it, but it's still doing its thing. It just is so basically when it goes gray, it's still doing it, but it's just a little bit less confident about it. It wants to make sure I'm ready, it seems. Because it still does steer for you. It's incredibly smooth. I guess I've been curious about this, it's like when, you know, how much more relaxing is it to be like this versus just driving? And it's a weird thing to kind of get used to because I'm sure that you guys are more used to it and can kind of calm down a little bit because it's still a little bit unnerving to someone like me who doesn't do this very often. But, um, you know, it is a nice, it is a nice benefit for, especially for like a long distance drive, you know, I mean, for the demo purposes, a handful of miles, that's not something that you necessarily so would need right. cruise control to go seven, ten miles. But, you know, I mean, shooing away at a, uh, you know, cross state road trip, three, five, seven hundred miles or something like that, this would definitely take a lot of fatigue off by the end of the day. You're going to feel a lot, a lot less kind of worn down. I would think that's an accurate. No, I have not taken it on such a road trip, but I would tend to agree. I mean, also, it doesn't hurt that this is like one of the most comfortable cars in the planet. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, it's pretty cool. I mean, and we've been blue for a good, I mean, like I said, in the middle lane, this is kind of the perfect scenario. Good, good stretch. Um, yeah, it's a good stretch. Now, and since it doesn't have a destination, it doesn't know when it's going to turn off like it was for you. Right, so none of that, there's yeah. no route information. Sure, sure. As, it says, as it says. So basically, on this case, let's say that nothing intervened. We could just go indefinitely on this highway until it ran. I mean, if it if this highway went, I don't even know where it goes. But if it went all the way to Oklahoma, in theory, we could just cruise to Oklahoma. In theory, now there would be times uh, at which the vehicle would want to check in, if you will, sure, and sure. ask for you to put your hand on the wheel, <laughs> even if it's there's no one around you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the engineer would say it's tens of minutes. Sure to be hands-free so well you know it's it's just like watching netflix like hey uh, did you fall asleep are you still yeah. watching the show <laughs> okay. we don't want to run away from you here we will try a driver initiated lane change to the right cool because our exit is coming up and then i'm going to ask you to take the turn signal just hold it to that first detent put your other hand on the wheel touch it right lane change start go of the turn signal So it 
That's great. It kind of took over once it recognized what you wanted to yeah. do. So that was a good example of that functioning well. Now, if someone had tried to whip around us to the right, or if maybe you didn't hold that turn signal long enough or change your mind, it would cancel and you'd get a, an indication of start beeping because I'd be Pac-Man in the middle of two lanes. But again, it doesn't matter because at that point, I'm, I'm already getting more engaged because I wasn't just doing like this. Exactly So, right. you know, having to kind of keep, uh, keep a t pay attention to merging isn't that big of a demerit because like, yeah, yeah, we're moving, no big deal. We're not just going a straight line. We can only do so much for you. And even if it did cancel the assistance piece, you could change lanes. Turn yeah, on your turn signal absolutely. and change. Now you see in two miles, it's going to hand over manual control because this road is ending. Oh, We're okay. not going oh, quite yeah, that yeah, far. We're going to take this exit. Don't right hit here. your pedals, just steer into it. Steer into this exit. Okay. Let it no do pedal, its thing. No pedal, no pedal, no pedal. Oh, there goes the, <laughs> the seatbelt plug is awesome. Yeah. Advanced so, drive ended. So it was feeling... no pedals? When do I use it? No, no, or, yeah. Oh, it, I'm over. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so, off. It's on I mean, me now. You're driving, so <laughs> please, please use the pedals. <laughs> I, um, so I would suggest once again, let's settle in the middle lane and maybe we can try, we can play around with some lane changes again if you want. Yeah. Um, if nothing else, recall we have a destination set, so it's going to recommend a lane change in uh, a little bit as soon as that, that information populates. Advanced drive activated. So you can't go right hands off, but you can go feet off pretty much right away. Oh, feet off. Yeah, right sure. away. And then we're in the blue. Yeah. Do you want to try a lane change? Yeah, sure. Um, Whatever, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's. You want to try it to the right or whatever. I'll go to the. I, I don't want to mess with the uh, left fast traffic because there's no one behind. Yep. Well this will be interesting because there's an entrance. Try it and see. It may okay. deny you. See, it knows there's possible yeah, yeah, yeah. merging Merge. traffic. Sure. <laughs> it does. And it knows the radar can't see over the wall. Right. Well, let's this. watch this. Okay. okay. It sees it. It just broke. Let's He's cutting me off. But well, we're still in the blue. It never went great. That nicely done. <laughs> Thank you for cutting us off, Mr. BMW. Uh, we love you to, to and with no turn signal, of course. Thank you for living up to your stereotype and oh giving gosh. us a good experiment. <laughs> I don't envy the, the engineers and the list and, and everybody involved, the list of things that you have to think about that might happen, plan for, make precautions, and then decide how it's going to do it, and then program the car, this huge 4,500 pound inanimate object cruising down the highway at 70 miles an hour under blue, to to do it smoothly without being jarring or scary, and I was a little nervous about it, but like, it's not scary, I, I, I trust it. Yeah, holding it a little bit lightly, letting it do it, I'm doing your thing, I'm barely touching it, oh, it's in the blue now, on the, on the curve. Good. Advanced drive this ending ahead. Game. I mean, it is. I don't, you know what's funny? This the the hidden accident or the um the happy accident of this is truly like you've taken away fatigue for road trips, but you've now made them a little bit less dull too. Okay. You can kind of play with it. It's I mean I would at least. <laughs> it's fun. It'll ask you ultimately for hand on wheel, and then it will start to hand over control. Yep, and then it's mine. You can tap okay. the accelerator. There you go. Advanced drive ended. And I took over this time before it started yanking out. Yes. We do want to get over to the right one. Okay. And you're, I don't want to say you're on your own, but no, you're no. on your own at this <laughs> point. <laughs> and then at that next intersection, recall we make that, that, that left. And then we pull uh, into HQ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much. This has been hugely informative. It's interesting. I'm glad. Thank and I you. really like the system. I think it's great. Good, you should talk, these two gentlemen here, they're the engineer, part of the engineering, of course not the only engineers, yeah, yeah. part of not, the engineering team. Not just two team. people did the whole thing? Yeah, but really? some of the leadership for that team, and I'm sure they'd like to hear any feedback you have or answer any other in-depth questions. I don't think I have any. It's one of those things where I'm going to go home and ruminate on this on the whole flight home, I'm going to be thinking about it. Not here-ish? Sure. Right. Whatever you're comfortable doing. Matter. Push the, there you go. Got it. And you can shut it down for a minute. We'll, we'll give it a key cycle. That's always a good idea. All right, cool.